meticulous preparation is needed before a building is demolished, because if things don't go according to plan, it can easily lead to a disaster. Join me as we take a look at 15 amazing building implosions and demolitions. Number 15, Zhuayang Viaduct. All right, let's kick off this list with something a little explosive. The Zhuangyang Viaduct was built in China back in 1997, in Wuhan, and in 2013, after 15 years of service, it was time for things to come to an end. But the viaduct didn't go out with a whimper, instead it went out with a bang. Demolition experts spent weeks looking at the Zhuangyang Viaduct's blueprints, figuring out how to take this thing down without leaving a single piece standing. They were looking at 12 miles worth of concrete that needed to go all at once, so they decided to lay down wires holding 100,000 volts of electricity along the bridge and gas pipeline underneath to get things going. And not only did everything go perfectly according to plan, but it made for one awesome sight as the explosion ran across the bridge in spectacular fashion. The event also broke the record as the longest concrete bridge ever successfully demolished in China. The viaduct needed to go to make room for an even larger one. But the real heroes here are the cleanup crew, who had to go in and make it look like the job never happened. And their weapons? Just brooms. Number 14. Ocean Tower As the old saying goes, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, which is exactly what happens with the Ocean Tower in Texas. Construction on this 31-story condo began in 2006 and came to a grinding halt just two years later when cracks in the support columns began to form. And upon further investigation, they found the core of the building had sunk by more than 14 inches. Needless to say, this was pretty bad news for everyone, and the building was soon thereafter deemed unsafe. The developers initially promised to fix these major problems, but in an attempt to save a few bucks, they scrapped the plan entirely. Cut to the year 2009 and this 55,000 ton building needed to come down via controlled demolition. What took two years to put up came down in not even two seconds. That was that. In an attempt to make some of their money back, the developers sold some of the fittings, fixtures, steel, and even the windows before everything came crashing down. In the end, the Ocean Tower was one of the largest reinforced concrete structures to ever be imploded. A big record for a big flop. Number 13. AFE Tower Frankfurt, Germany's AFE Tower had a good run for about 40 years before everything came crashing down. The office building was 381 feet tall, with 38 stories, mostly made up of offices and seminar rooms as part of the university. But in 2014, this 50,000-ton building was strapped with explosives that sent it plummeting straight down to the earth. The AFE Tower was located right in the heart of the city and became a bit of a public spectacle once the date of the demolition was announced. In the end, about 10,000 people came to watch the controlled demolition safely behind a 20-foot high wall. And you have to admit that this is a pretty cool sight as the tower goes down, only to be replaced by a cloud of smoke and debris, all of which was safely contained. And not to be outdone, Frankfurt's AFE Tower became the tallest building to ever be demolished using explosives. Number 12. J.L. Hudson Company The J.L. Hudson Company is a retail department store, and their flagship store in downtown Detroit had been there since 1911. It had seen some additions, and by the early 1960s, the building took up the entire city block across 2 million square feet of space. This big building was an even bigger deal when it became the tallest department store in the world at 26 stories high. But the business wasn't what it once was, and in 1998, it was time for everything to go. This giant Detroit mainstay turned a few heads when it finally came down via implosion. Hudson's was the tallest building to ever be imploded at the time, leaving a huge dust cloud in its wake that traveled a few city blocks. The demolition quite literally left a 60-foot-tall pile of rubble and some pretty big shoes to fill. A new skyscraper went up in its place, housing a healthy mix of residences, hotels, offices, and of course, retail space. And perhaps as a nod to the deceased Hudson's building, the new structure was the second tallest in the city. Number 11. Glines Canyon Dam All right, we've seen some pretty wild explosions so far, but let's pull back a little and take a look at one of the most impressive demolitions ever seen. The Glines Canyon Dam did its job well on Washington's Elwa River for nearly a hundred years. It was built in 1927, but over the years it had taken quite a toll on the area's ecosystems. 
the Elwa Restoration Project came to be and involved the decommissioning and demolition of the dam, and the hard work started in 2014. But the thing about a dam is you can't just strap a ton of explosives on it and let her rip like you would with a skyscraper. Not just yet, at least. The demolition involved a combination of excavators chipping away at the top of the concrete dam little by little and layer by layer. By the time heavy machinery got to the lower layer of the structure, that's when the real fun began. Crews came in and laid their explosives down and finished off what was left. In the end, the Glines Canyon Dam, which once stood at 210 feet tall, fell victim to the largest dam demolition ever. Number 10. Grand Prince Hotel, Akasaka Good things take time, and that even includes demolitions. As we saw with a previous entry, not everything can go out on a dramatic mass of fire and brimstone. The Grand Prince Hotel Akasaka was built in the 1970s in Japan, but closed down in 2011. But when the country suffered a major earthquake, it reopened to house the victims who were displaced after that catastrophe. But once everyone was out, that's when the fun could begin. Instead of taking the hotel out with a bulldozer, a wrecking ball, or even some good old-fashioned dynamite, the demolition crews took on a much safer process. The hotel was totally dismantled from the inside, which was far more eco-friendly, leaves almost no mess behind, and perhaps more importantly for those living and working close by it, it doesn't make nearly as much noise. The top floors are all maintained by temporary columns, and the lower floors are eliminated one by one, and you can see in the video how the building slowly but surely becomes smaller and smaller. It looks like slow and steady really does win the race. Number 9. Yankee Stadium The New York Yankees are, without a doubt, one of the greatest sports dynasties of all time, and for many New Yorkers, Yankee Stadium was their mecca for a generation. Derek Jeter, Lou Gehrig, and Babe Ruth all graced spectators with their presence. And don't forget about those Giants fans either, because their beloved football team played there too. So it was incredibly sad when the 80-year-old Yankee Stadium had to come down in 2010. The entire ballpark was dismantled incredibly quickly, working from the top down and taking down all of the bleachers in about a month. And in the end, the stadium was totally razed in just 284 days. Not bad for an 8-acre space. The new ballpark, now called Heritage Park, increased the original stadium size, bringing it up to 10 acres, and was open in time for the new season. Many New Yorkers have been resistant to the change, but that certainly didn't stop them from cheering on the Bronx Bombers and their new home. Number 8. Metrodome Okay, sports fans, time for some demolitions of famous sports arenas. The Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, or just the Metrodome, was the home of the Minnesota Vikings and Twins an NFL and MLB team respectively, since 1982. The roof was made completely out of fiberglass, which may have looked nice, but didn't always offer the same kind of support as the fans did. And aside from having some pretty lackluster amenities on the inside, the Metrodome was known for being one of the worst venues in both baseball and football, with bad turf and horrific lighting that made it almost impossible to locate a pop fly during a game. But things got really bad when the entire roof caved in from snow on more than one occasion. So at the beginning of 2014, they started to take her down, starting with that poorly planned roof. They referred to the event as the deflation of the roof and placed explosives all around the top of the arena before, boom, the entire roof came down in the blink of an eye, leaving a hefty cloud of dust in its wake. From there, wrecking balls went to work to bring down the entire stadium. Number 7. Wembley Stadium England's Wembley Stadium is one of the most famous stadiums ever built, hands down. It hosted all sorts of prestigious events like the 1948 Olympics and the 1966 World Cup Finals, but the stadium was set for demolition back in 2003 to clear a path for a newer, more up-to-date design. That's no easy feat, because the stadium's distinctive twin towers were 126 feet high. Needless to say, it was a pretty tall order to bring them down. Construction crews and heavy machinery went to town on Wembley's Twin Towers to make way for a new stadium that could accommodate up to 90,000 screaming fans. But sports fans everywhere were pretty upset as they watched the demolition because not only did the walls contain a great deal of history, but they also felt a great deal of national pride every time they saw the white Twin Towers. It was a sad day for many indeed, but nonetheless impressive for the crews involved who were able to bring it all down so quickly. Number 6. University of Texas Towers 
On one January morning in 2020, some Texans were treated to a pretty loud display of demolitions as two towers at the University of Texas campus were felled in spectacular fashion. Both buildings were post-tensioned and made with reinforced concrete, so they both needed a little extra oomph to get the job done. The towers were 10 and 12 stories respectively and strapped with explosives from top to bottom. And as you can see, the explosions themselves may look small, but with that many, it was enough to bring the structures down fast. But what makes this controlled demolition so exciting and maybe a little bit precarious is the fact that it took place just eight feet away from two Texas U towers. A lot of planning goes into making sure something like this goes off without a hitch while keeping the surrounding buildings safe. And as always, the demolition of the structures gave way to a much larger 15-story, 280-unit apartment building. Number 5. Leaning Tower of Dallas The famous tower in Pisa, Italy isn't the only leaning tower in the world. There's also the Leaning Tower of Dallas. This Dallas high-rise earned its nickname after an attempted demolition went a bit awry. This 11-story tower was set to be demolished in 2020, and spectators came to watch the excitement from the sidelines. The explosives went off, the walls came crashing down, but when the dust cleared, everyone's jaws were on the floor. Part of the 11-story building was still standing. The center structure and the elevator shaft held strong, despite the demolition team's best efforts. The Leaning Tower of Dallas refused to fall, so construction crews were forced to bring in their extra-long reach excavator to finish the job. But it still wouldn't go down, and even people started to root for the Leaning Tower. In the end, though, it took some cranes and a wrecking ball to tear it down. But before the story concluded, 200 people signed a petition to turn the Leaning Tower of Dallas into a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Note to contractors everywhere, get her done right the first time. Number 4. Palace of Auburn Hills The Detroit Pistons of the NBA had called the Palace of Auburn Hills home from 1988 to 2017, but that 30-year residency imploded in 2020, literally. With most of the structure demolished, the contractors left the roof for last, and what goes up must come down. That's exactly what that roof did. Held up by 22 support columns, the roof was strapped with 800 pounds of explosives to bring the entire thing crashing down. It was a sad day for many Detroiters, as the walls of the Palace of Auburn Hills saw some amazing games, plays, and lineups, like the bad boys who tore down dynasties like the Lakers and the Celtics, and even created the Jordan rules to keep the superstar out of the paint. But as the Pistons tore other teams down in the past, perhaps it's karma that tore down their beloved arena to build a mixed-use research and tech facility. Number 3. Pentagon Plaza just because a building is either demolished or imploded doesn't mean the teams behind it can't have a little fun with it. This next entry on our list is quite the spectacle. The Pentagon Plaza in France stood at 15 stories tall before it was imploded in 2020, but the demolition teams wanted to tackle a very interesting problem. These implosions kick up an insane amount of dust that dissipates into the air that we breathe. So do they go about demolishing the Pentagon Plaza in a more environmentally friendly way? Well, they came up with an incredibly creative solution while also keeping things incredibly simple. The demolition team simply lined the perimeter of the Pentagon Plaza with small inflatable swimming pools, all lined with explosives. The resulting explosion sent the water flying high into the air just before the explosives on the actual building went off, so the ensuing dust plume would be contained. If you didn't know you were seeing a controlled demolition at first, you might have think that you were at SeaWorld with this one. Number 2. The King Dome Seattle's King Dome, one of the most famous buildings in the city, saw the likes of the Seahawks and the Mariners play some great and some not-so-great games since it was built in 1976. But win or lose, the stadium was a staple. But at the end of the day, the King Dome wasn't very well put together and was suffering from some serious structural issues, mainly regarding the roof tiles. Yeah, they were constantly falling off. The stadium was built on a shoestring budget, corners were cut, and the result was the roof collapsed in 1994. So in March 2000, they decided the entire King Dome needed to come down, which also marked the biggest building to ever be demolished by implosion up until then. And it was a pretty cool sight to behold, too. The demolition experts rigged a 21-mile detonation cord around the building's surface, and soon 5,800 pieces of dynamite went off, bringing down the 25,000-ton roof with it in less than 20 seconds. You can bet that thousands of people were watching from their bedrooms and office buildings. 
number one, New Frontier Hotel and Casino. And now, finally, the most elaborate building implosion and demolition. The New Frontier Hotel and Casino had been around since 1942 and was the second resort to be built on the famous Las Vegas Strip. It lived a full life, acting as a nightclub under different owners and had been demolished and rebuilt to become more modern in the 50s. It had seen the likes of Howard Hughes, Elvis Presley, and the Supremes in its heyday, making it one of the top Vegas destinations. But despite the rich and illustrious history, the New Frontier Hotel closed its doors in 2007, and they remained closed for the next six months. The building just sat there collecting dust with no future plans in sight. Eventually, the hotel was bought for over a billion dollars so it could be demolished and replaced. But instead of hitting it a few times with a wrecking ball or simply rigging it with explosives, they opted for something a little flashier. Before the implosion, the new owners of the defunct hotel and casino put on an incredible fireworks show that lasted for nearly two minutes that was on par with an American 4th of July show. But when the show was over and the dust cleared, the explosives set inside the structure went off, and about six seconds later, the new Frontier Hotel and Casino were gone. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.